This video is sponsored by KW Delhi 6. Hi, this is Shweta, member of Pinkish Foundation, founder and fitness partner at FitFed. Other than yoga and weight training, the third fitness activity which I really like to do is running marathons. I had participated in a couple of 10k marathons in the past and now I aspire to run 21k. But to run half marathons or full marathons need a lot of practice. Because to run for 2 to 1 half hours, you really need to have that strength and stamina in your legs. What we need to do? There are certain tips and there are certain exercises which you need to follow on a regular basis to chase that target. I am doing that. Will you do with me? So in this video, I will be showing you, sharing with you few tips and few exercises. Tip number one, consistency and regularity. What you need to do is you need to set up a target for yourself. Set a target for a month, say for example 20 kilometers or 30 kilometers. Divide this 20 and 30 kilometers into weekly targets. Nutshell, you need to run for about 3 to 4 times in a week. When you will be in a habit to run small distances, sooner you will get a practice to run the longer distances as well. But you need to continue that for a little bit of a time, so about for 1 month or 2 months until and unless you are able to run long distances. The second tip, get fully equipped. I have seen ladies especially running in their societies or in the jogger parks or parks without proper shoes. Running without proper shoes is not benefiting you in any way. Rather, it is damaging your knees. So, if you aspire to run, marathons especially, get proper running shoes for yourself. And since, particularly in some part of India, we have hot and humid weather, so you need to have sweat absorbent clothes which makes it comfortable for you to run long distances. Kya aap apne bachchon ka bhavishya sunishchit karna chahte hain? To phir deir kis baat ki? Aaj hi apni dukaan book ki jiye KW Delhi 6 mein. Grab double bonanza offer. Offer valid till 31st July 2020. Hurry! The third is for running tracking app. Either you can have a smartwatch with you or you need to have a runner app with you which is easily available on the Play Stores. Download that and keep it with you. So whenever you are running, these apps or the smartwatches helps to track your runs, helps to track your goals and it actually provides a lot of motivation to you. And now the fourth, we need to do a lot of warm-ups before the run and post-run stretches. However, there are ample number of exercises available which actually helps you to get those runner legs but I personally follow these 5 exercises on a regular basis to build those muscles. When you run, typically 4-5 muscles are majorly involved which is your quads, hamstrings, calves and IT band. So I will be showing you 5 exercises or 5 post run stretches which help you to build those muscles. So the first is the hamstring stretch. You need to lie down on your back, okay? You need to bend one leg, you need to keep your hands below the knee and now you have to straighten the leg. You have to straighten your knee and bring it closer to you. Jitta aap isko apne paas leke aayenge, utta hi you will feel the stretch at your thigh and your hips as well. Repeat it with the other leg. Again, अपने पैर को मोड़िए, इसको अपने पास लाइए, नी को सीधा करिए और इस पैर को अपनी तरफ खींचिए. Bring it closer to you. Relax. We'll do it one more time. Raise the leg, hands beneath your knees and pull it towards you. The closer it will be to your chest, better stretch you will feel. This was for your hamstring stretch. 
The second exercise which I am going to show you is the quad stretch. So quad stretch quads are basically your front thigh muscles. So what you need to do is, this might require a little balance. So you need to, if it is possible for you, hold the wall. If it is not, it's okay. You need to build, pick up your thigh and you have to raise it. Raise it and bring it closer to your chest. Hold it for some time. And relax. Bring your other leg, fold it and bring it closer to your leg. And relax. We'll repeat it one more time. Bring it closer to your leg and stretch. Higher it is, the better stretch you will feel. This was the second exercise. The third exercise is the calf stretch. So what you need to do is, you need to stand straight. You need to raise, stand on your foot and you need to go down. You have to do it you can keep your hands on your waist or if you want support, you can take the support of the wall. So, go up and go down. Go up and go down. Go up and go down. If it is possible for you to stay there for some time because this stretch will actually give a lot of stretch on your calves. And go down. Do it with the support of the wall. Go up, stay there for some time. You feel the stretch at your calf and come down. This was the third exercise for your calves. The fourth exercise, which I'm going to show you, is the low lunge stretch. What you need to do is you need to come in the lunge pose position and you need to stay there. Stay there for some time. Keep the hands on your waist and stay. Come up and go down. Come up and go down. Come up and go down and stay there. You'll feel a lot of stretch in your front thigh, which is actually good for your muscles. Come up. Again, go back and then go down. Come up and go down. Come up and go down and relax. The third, the fifth, sorry, the fifth exercise which I'm going to tell you is the IT band stretch. This exercise is again a very, very famous exercise which mostly runners do after running long marathons. So what you need to do is you need to cross your legs and you have to bend. Let me show you like this. Now when you're bending, you are not supposed to bend from your back. You are supposed to bend from your hips. So you can take your hands up, bend from your hips and go down. Stay there for some time. You make sure that your knees are straight. Slowly come up and relax. We'll repeat it from the other leg. Up. Go down from your hips and stretch. Come up and relax. You can actually do this exercise three to four times in proper intervals. So these are my five top five exercises which will help you to get those runner legs and help you to run marathons. Thank you and stay tuned. Thanks for watching this video. For further details, contact us at 8010 Thank you.